Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video we're going to be looking at the very very rare but very easy to get achievement called Tortoise and the Hare uh, which is worth 20 gamer score and only 0.42% of gamers on Forza Horizon 4 actually have this achievement so it's a nice and rare one, uh, it's great collectors want for a lot of people who like doing a bit of achievement hunting. So without further ado let's get stuck in here. Now this achievement basically wants you to complete a showdown PvP event in both an X class and a D class car. So it's actually really really easy. So to start with we're going to head over here to the Horizon Festival playlist uh, drag strip which is obviously just outside the Horizon Festival. Uh, the reason being it's the quickest race to get this done on. Now you're going to want to enter it and scroll across to PvP. Just a note you must be online for this otherwise it will be greyed out and you can't do it. Now you also want to create your own blueprint and select anything goes uh, and then instead of actually picking a car class you click on the showdown as you can see in the bottom there. Now this means you can race in any class you want but the lower down you are on the class tier basically means you get a nice head start above everyone else that's in a higher class car. Uh, you then create that blueprint you can obviously set the weather to whatever you want uh, and you go ahead and select that one and we'll select that one again later when we race in a D class car. But for now, we're just going to pick an X-Class first of all. Uh, it's very, very quick, like I said. So pick whichever X-Class car you want. Now, you don't actually have to win these races either. Uh, you can, all you have to do is complete them. You can finish wherever you want. Well, within reason. Um, but yeah, pick whichever X-Class car you want. So I want my Lamborghini Aventador Forza Edition. But like I said, you can select whichever one you want. Uh, and then you can it will basically be shared to everyone that's in your session. Uh, and they can then jump in and join. So it's not too hard. It'll probably be quicker if you have friends. So as you can see here, the guy that's racing the Super Impreza is in an S1 class. Uh, so that's why he got a bit of a head start. Why he swerved over into my lane, probably because he was a bit of a douche. Uh, but obviously I won that one. But like I said, it doesn't matter where you finish. Once you've completed it and got all your prizes and whatever, you'll then go back to the Horizon Race, select from your custom events the drag strip race again, as you know it's a showdown, uh, and change into a D-Class car. Now again, it doesn't matter what car it is, just as long as it's D-Class. Uh, I went for my Dats from 510 as I tuned it a bit and it was the fastest D-Class I got, because obviously it means you get the race over with a lot quicker uh, and you're not fannying about sort of taking time up the drag strip because you just don't have a fast car. Now, as you can see in this one, the guy is racing a Lamborghini that's S2 class. So I got quite a big head start um, and I only just won. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You just have to cross that finish line and complete it in both an X and a D class car. Uh, and this has to probably be the closest race I've ever been in, considering he had an S2 class Lamborghini and I had a D class Datsun. Uh, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, so anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out. And obviously I hope you enjoyed it, especially for those achievement hunters out there. If you don't have it, then definitely give it a shot because it's a very easy to get 20 gamer score. And it's a very, very rare achievement on Forza Horizon 4, if not probably one of the rarest. Um, if you do need any other Forza achievement guides made, then please do give us a shout. Tell me what achievement is tripping you up uh, and I will try my best to get a guide done for it, even if I've completed it, which I think I've only got about two achievements left on this game. Uh, but last of all, obviously a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support. Uh, I do hope this video has helped you out and I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe. Uh, and if, like I said, you liked this video and it helped you get an extra achievement, then don't forget to drop a like. Uh, but a massive, massive thank you, like I said, for everyone's support. All the best, guys. Take care.